Growing up in a rough neighborhood in LA, it's never an easy thing to do. Either make something of yourself and get out, or you caught up in that gang life and you never make it out. You see, both of my parents, they had me at a very early age. They even had me at an early age, they still chose that street life, that gang life. So it's safe to say, they chose that street life over me. Despite the difficult challenges of the environment that I was raised in, it was uh, just something in football that just drew me in. Whenever I got an opportunity to display my skills on the football field, I took advantage of it. Or at least it kept me away from the streets. See, my grandfather, he immediately recognized my raw talent out there on that field. He told me if I really wanted to pursue this, he would help me pursue my dream to make it to the NFL. But from that moment on, I worked tirelessly, day in, day out. Went to a lot of football camps, a lot of private workout sections, to help build that highlight reel and to showcase my skills. Over the years, I became known as one of the best high school players in my area. However, the obstacles that I faced off the field were just as daunting as it was on it. So my grandparents, they struggled to keep food on the table and pay the bills. The violence and the drugs, it was rampant in my neighborhood. But I knew one misstep could cost me my whole entire future. But despite my grandparents struggling, I had the ultimate support. As well as the guidance of my coaches, I ended up prevailing. Every game, every practice, I poured my heart and soul into it. So eventually, the hard work that I grinded and put in each and every game, each and every practice, it paid off. in January. So the best high school football players in the country are inside the Alamo Dome. A lot of the nation's top high school recruits are playing in this game. And every recruit felt like they was the best. And I damn sure was one of them because y'all know my story, my rough upbringing. I was trained for this. I was born to do this. Now, we was getting our ass with no doubt about it, but I made my presence known and felt off that one big hit. I got a lot more offers than I usually had coming into that game. The likes of Oklahoma, Texas, LSU, Oregon, you name it, them schools wanted me. But it was one big problem. If I picked the school away from my grandparents, that would mean I would be away from them. If I stick close to home, they can see a lot of my home games. So I have a very tough choice to make and I need y'all help. Should I commit somewhere close to home or branch out and go to a big time school away from my grandparents? Y'all let me know. Now because of this school tradition, the players to come through here and playing for a coach at the highest level, playing for a coach that been to the next level, why not play for a school like Michigan? Very first practice, I started off hot, but I made a few mistakes here and there, but overall, that hustle, that determination that you see, they come from a lifelong of practicing hard work since I was a child. Y'all know my backstory. I belong here. And I'm gonna show the college football world that I belong here. My second college practice, that dominant performance continued. So I start one of the nation's best running backs for tackle for loss on back-to-back -back plays. Even though I was a true freshman, it was one thing that separated me from everybody else on this defense. That hustle, determination, that's something that you just can't teach. Cause because of my hard work, I was bumped to the number two on the depth chart. Even though I was number two on the depth chart, we had a big game against Notre Dame. And I didn't get no playing time, but we ended up pulling off the victory 30 to 20. You know, we was being a smack out of Akron. I got a little bit of playing time and it felt kind of good. It wasn't much, but ain't no force on the quarterback hurrying up to throw. But 30 and eight right here, I sniffed out that screen pass, but dropped the pass. Because of my gameplay, Jim Harbaugh had this to say about me. That's at the highest level, Steve. Uh, his preparation during the week, his intensity in practice, uh, every day. Because of an injury for our starting defensive end, that meant the next man up, me. And going against a team like Penn State, you definitely got to come with it. 
Plus, they got a new order offense, so we had to be on our A game. And right here, stuffing the running back for a negative yard play. And right here, you just cannot teach something like that. And we get our first TFL, third and 14. We almost set the quarterback, but we get chopped block. Nice completion by the five-star quarterback freshman. Second and 10. Are we right there. Let's go. Now, we all facing a new order offense. Now, the reason he chose Michigan, a lot of y'all voted for Oregon, Oregon, but this dude, Jim Harbaugh, got a plan for this dude. This dude is just too raw, too talented to just, bro, he's like, the next Michael Parsons. Y'all will see that throughout this series. This dude, even in this game, he's going to line up over, over the center. On the edge. He's going to play some linebacker. Bro, it just... <laughs> this dude is fucking special, bro. Special. And that's one reason why he ultimately came to, you know, Michigan. Utilize this guy. They, he fit this scheme perfectly. And that's why he chose Michigan, bro. Plus, we are number one, and we nearly got another set. But that is intercepted. Let's go. Let's go. They already got a good defense. You add this guy, a true freshman, it, it's going to be trouble. And we missed out on our first sack, bro. But our teammates helped clean it up, right, bro? You know. <laughs> no. No, no, no. But fourth quarter, man, we are 27 to nothing. Third and goal. They trying to hurt it. Bro, look at this, bro. When I played it, I ain't never seen that before. That quarterback just directs not to the running back, bro. That is crazy. Then he going to walk off like nobody ain't see him back there. But we ended up running away with this game, man. Like, comment, subscribe. I hope y'all enjoyed this episode, this first episode. Man, this your boy CR8. And I'm going up out of here, man.